The flight guidance control system indirectly drives the primary flight controls through either the cockpit control column or through other processing modules. The automatic flight control system function includes the automatic pilot, flight director guidance, yaw damper, turn coordination, and automatic pitch trim. Flight director guidance provides lateral, roll, and vertical, flight path angle, flight director modes. Integrated with the FMS or manually commanded by the flight crew. Flight director guidance may be coupled or uncoupled to the autopilot. Turn coordination and yaw damping, Dutch roll damping, indirectly provide commands to the rudder control surface and function independently of the automatic pilot and flight guidance system. The automatic pitch trim capability is coupled to the autopilot and indirectly provides trim commands to the elevator control surface. The thrust management system consists of the electronic thrust trim system, thrust rating selection, and the automatic throttle. The electronic thrust trim system controls the fine tuning of the automatic throttle, provides in-one command synchronization, and passes engine synchronization commands to the FADEC. The electronic thrust trim system is coupled to the automatic throttle. In other words, the electronic thrust trim system is disabled when the automatic throttle is disengaged. The thrust rating selection computes the active engine rating for the current phase of flight and for display on the ICUS. The thrust rating selection operates independently of the automatic throttle. The automatic throttle system automatically positions the throttle levers to control the airplane's thrust throughout the flight regime. The automatic throttle is fully integrated with the flight directory subsystem. However, it is independent of the autopilot engagement status. Integrated Guidance and Display Controller The Integrated Guidance and Display Controller, also known as the Guidance Display Control Panel, GP, provides the means for selection or deselection of the following FGCS functions. Lateral guidance, AFCS management, speed control, and vertical guidance. Flight director guidance. The flight director guidance system computes flight guidance commands for presentation to the pilots on the flight mode enunciator. FMA section. The flight director commands selected on the guidance panel are computed using the PFD source. Only one vertical mode and one lateral mode may be active at a time. Up to two vertical modes and one lateral mode may be armed at one time. Modes are engaged via a push button and are disengaged by the successive push of the same button. Selecting FD off, labeled FD, on the guidance panel removes the flight director command bars from the non-coupled side of the PFD, if the automatic pilot is engaged. The lateral guidance section of the guidance panel has the following function controls. Approach button, APP. Navigation button, NAV. Low bank, automatic button, bank. Heading button, HDG. Heading select knob, HDG SEL. Push to synchronize button, push sync, in the middle of heading select knob. Push the approach button to arm the approach mode for CAT 1 2 as appropriate. Push the lateral navigation button to activate the lateral navigation mode. Push the low bank auto bank button to select the bank angle limit that will be used by the FGCS. The bank selection can be either a limit that is automatically selected, auto bank, or a fixed value, low bank. Push the heading button to activate the heading mode. The pre-selected heading target will become the active heading. Turn the heading select knob to manually select 
or pre-select the heading to be used for the FGCS. The Heading Select knob contains a Push to Sync button in the center. Press the button to synchronize the heading target automatically to the current aircraft heading. There are two course select knobs, one for the left PFD and one for the right PFD. The knobs are rotary switches that control left and right side course information and data selection. Each knob contains a center button that provides the ability to select the course, required to fly directly to the station. The Flight Guidance Control section of the Guidance Panel contains the following buttons Autopilot Engage Disengage button The Yaw Damper button and Source button. If the autopilot is engaged, pressing this button causes the Flight Director to transition to the Basic Mode, Roll FPA. If autopilot is not engaged when the transfer occurs, the Flight Director drops to Standby Mode and clears the Flight Director Command Queue along with the mode enunciation. The PFD data used by the FGCS and transferred by pressing SRC button includes Short Range Navigation Source VOR Localizer 1 VOR Localizer 2 Barrel Corrected Altitude FMS Source FMS-1, FMS-2 Speed Controls The Speed Control section of the Guidance Panel contains the following. The Auto Throttle Engage Disengage button. The Speed Select knob. The Indicated Airspeed Mach Push to Change button located within the Speed knob. And the Manual FMS Speed Selector which is also part of the Speed knob. The automatic throttle button is used to arm and disengage the auto throttle. The automatic throttle enunciation will be displayed on the FMA when the auto throttle is engaged. The outer speed selector knob has two positions. The FMS position is used to select the FMS speed target. The manual position is used to activate the manual speed target. The inner speed selector knob is used for manual selection of the target speed along with the speed target bug. Turning the knob clockwise increases the speed and turning the knob counterclockwise decreases the speed. The calibrated airspeed mock push to change button is used to toggle between calibrated airspeed control and mock control. The Vertical Guidance Control section of the Guidance Panel contains the following functions. The Altitude Hold button, the Vertical Navigation button, the Altitude Select knob, the Flight Level Change button, the Vertical Speed Select wheel, the Vertical Speed button, the Flight Path Angle button, and the Flight Path Angle Select knob. The VNAV button activates the interception and tracking of the vertical navigation path, according to the FMS request. The ALT selector knob selects the desired altitude. Clockwise rotation increases the altitude target and counterclockwise rotation decreases the altitude target. A button in the center of the ALT select selector knob provides the selected altitude to be displayed in meters above the normal ALT window and above the ALT preselect window on the PFD. Push the Altitude Hold button to activate the Altitude Hold mode. ALT will be displayed on the FMA. If the Altitude Hold mode was active prior to the button activation, the Altitude Hold mode transitions to FPA mode. 